What's up, fam? This your boy, but we gonna get right into it. Um, look, J Stash. Uh, first off, I want to send uh rest in peace and condolences to the family um of Jeanette. And uh, I just want to say, man, uh, this was weak, like, bro, like. This my whole thing with Jay Stash, right? Cause I wanted to go do some research at first. I ain't want to get on here just saying whatever. So I had to go do some research. And upon me doing my research, the man has a like a history of domestic violence, right? So you already have a history of not being able to deal with females in relationships right now the man mama I guess is like a lawyer or something or whatever right so basically Jay Stash remind me of one of them dudes to where it's like you not really from the hood or you probably had family in the hood but you was probably on the outskirts or something like that or whatever whatever but like you wanted to be street so bad like you wanted to be street so bad so when my son hit me up and he said well what you think about the uh j stash situation i said i never heard of this dude then everybody calling him a rapper i look up his songs but i can't find no music under like seven years like seven years ago who he rapping to? What he rapping about? Ooh, what, who, what? If somebody tell me you a rapper and I can't find none current, to me, you retired. So I'm just going to say you, you was a retired rapper unless he changed his name or something. But other than that, I couldn't even find no recent music. So I don't know if he was still rapping or nothing like that. I seen him on uh, No Jumper and even when he was on No Jumper, they asked him about the domestic situation and he uh was tom like he was like oh yeah she lied on me and yada 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 bro seeing pictures you know what i'm saying from these situations you know these females ain't beat up they self you feel me of course i couldn't put the pictures on here but i seen a whole lot of pictures man and um yeah bro you did that you feel me and that that's weak bro and to do this lady Jeanette like that in front of her kids because you done for the longest period of time you felt so secure because your mama was a lawyer that you could just run around doing whatever you want to do and doing anything that you want to do then you turn around you know what I'm saying and you take this lady life in front of her kids it's like, bro, you trash. Like, you trash for that, bro. Then at the same time, you still didn't take the man way out because then you took your own life. That's that's terrible, bro. That's terrible. It's weak. And, you know, yeah, mental health is a thing. And I understand that. But at the same time, man, a lot of these people bring it on themselves. Why would you be with somebody that has a OnlyFans and somebody that's a stripper you know what come with that lifestyle and then be mad at them about cheating on you now i know that this happened because the police reports show they done been to the crib before for domestic violence because you accusing her of cheating and doing this and doing that and i ain't gonna lie because i see this with a lot of dudes i think what happened was you got up with her knowing her lifestyle and you thought her lifestyle was gonna fund you so you could have a certain type of lifestyle so you could keep up with your rap image you was probably planning on using her money and or was going to try to use her money but at the same time because she worked hard for her money she probably keep her money to herself and you was probably in there with the kids being a babysitter and then you probably can't take it because now she's getting more popular than you 
She got the OnlyFans popping. She already a stripper, and you ain't did no music in about seven years. What? All right, come on, bro. It's a sad situation. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you took the cowboy out. It took your own life, bro. That's a cow. That's a cowardly way to do it, bro. <clears throat> if you felt like that and you was gonna take your own life, that's one thing. But to take her life and your life, you a you a coward, bro. That's how I look at it. Ain't no way. Then that's what I'm saying. You you a grown man, bro, going around beating on women, hitting on women. And all this, and you beating cases just because your mama look. You ain't beating cases because you didn't do it, bro. You ain't beating cases because the females lied or whatever like that. Like, bro, when females emotional, yeah, they might say some things. They might do some things or whatever like that, bro. Pictures don't lie. You did that to them girls, bro. And your mama got you out that gym every single time. That's how I know, like, bro, you grown. You supposed to be a rapper. You in your video hanging out the window with like eighty dollars, rapping about being in a trap. This doesn't the third. Why are your why why is your mama even involved in this situ these situations? Why is your mama name even coming up? Why is your mom that lets me know that you was a mama's boy? For real, for real. My mama has no dealing in my relationships, bro. None whatsoever. At all If she decides to build A relationship with The girl I'm talking to That's one thing but as far as all that Calling on Calling on the phone Telling you to come to c calm down Making sure the best uh, Defense teams and all this And that represent you in certain cases Like come on bro That's what it seemed like to me Cause like I told everybody that hit me up about, I say I ain't never heard of this dude in my life, ever. I ain't never heard of this dude. I'm like, what is like, where's where's mixtapes? Then I go look up the song. Like I say, seven years, six years, five years, bro. What? But you, but you done took this girl away from her kids, and I'm not finna, I'm not finna. Like I seen other people doing condemning her because she was uh, a stripper or condemning her because she was on OnlyFans. I'm not finna do that because she had three kids and a man in a household that apparently wasn't helping her. He wasn't moving no traction to me out here. He wasn't doing nothing to me out here. But then he say he worked with uh little uh he said he worked with Kanye West and work with these people i know he was cool with asap rocky now but that's what i'm saying then that that's that's what make me feel like you a spoiler brat bro it's like you you done been around millionaires and billionaires and you still have no traction so i don't know what he was doing and all this music this music ain't all that bro <laughs> i mean that's just, that music lukewarm as hell so you know what i'm saying like i'm not finna go against shorty just because she a stripper just because she was on only fans nothing no she was all them people you've been around and she was still more popular than you yeah her dms was more popping than yours yeah she was getting hit up way more than you and furthermore she really didn't have to choose i don't even know why she chose you bro like you ain't bring no value to her at all bro you ain't bring no value to her only thing you brought to her was the same thing you had in your last relationships bro tattoos and, ang and trust issues and anger problems that's it bro I ain't never finna I don't even like the people that's like Trying to talk about her It's like bro If she even if she was stripping She was still coming home to you Even if she was on OnlyFans She was still coming home to you But if you couldn't take it Then you shouldn't have been with her But like I said guys like this 90% of the time be thinking like, okay, my girl gonna work and get the money, but I'm gonna use her money to try to further my rap, rap career, or I'm gonna use her money to try to do this and do that. Cause, like I said, the man done been around a lot of a lot of uh famous rappers or whatever like that, but his credentials is nothing. It's lukewarm. 
So I can't even give you no credit for that. And uh, it's sad, man. And her kids had to witness that you got to, to make you feel like a bigger man. You got these kids knocking on the door, hoping, hoping they, hoping they mama okay. Steady coming to check to see if they mama okay. Why you beating on her? Then you beat her up first. Then took her life. Then took your life. Man, don't go out like J Stash. If your girl cheating, just leave her, bro. If your girl ain't right, just leave her, bro. But at the same time, bro, make better decisions. You knew she was a stripper. You knew she was doing the OnlyFans. If you can't handle her lifestyle, just leave her. Don't kill her. Don't beat on her. Just leave. Man, ain't got no kids with her or nothing. Beat up. Killed. It's your boy, boo, man. I'm out.